Let's try to solve these problems. Add the following fraction. So let's start with 1. 2 thirds plus 1 fourth. So we are adding dissimilar fractions, meaning having different denominators. So in this problem, we have different denominators of 3 and 4. So if that's the case, we transform the fractions first into similar fractions by finding the least common denominator or the LCD. So to find the LCD, let's list down the multiples of 3 and 4. So for 3, the multiples are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and so on. For the 4, its multiples are 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. So let's look at the first common multiple that appears. So obviously, it is 12. So therefore, the LCD is 12. So we will transform these two fractions into similar fractions having the new denominator of the LCD, which is 12. So for 2 thirds first, we divide the LCD 12 by the denominator 3. So 12 divided by 3, it's 4. Then times the numerator 2, 4 times 2, it's 8. Plus, for 1 fourth, let's divide again the LCD 12 by the denominator 4. 12 divided by 4, it's 3. Times the numerator 1, 3. So therefore, once the two fractions are now similar, which is now having a denominator of 12, we just copy the same denominator of 12 and then add the numerators. 8 plus 3. So 8 plus 3, that will be 11 over 12. So the final answer is 11 over 12. For number 2, we have 1 and 3 fifths plus 2 and 1 half. So this time we are adding mixed numbers. So if that's the case, we can add first the whole number. So we have 1 plus 2, that will be 3. And then we need to add the fractional part as well which are the similar fractions. So to add 3 fifths plus 1 half, we need to transform them into similar fractions by finding the LCD again. So let's list down the multiples of 5 and 2. So for 5, the multiples are 5, 10, 15, and so on. For 2, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so on. So obviously, first common multiple that appears is 10. So therefore, the LCD will be 10. So let's transform the two fractions into similar fractions having the new denominator of 10, which is the LCD. For 3 fifths, let's divide 10 by 5. That will be 2 times the numerator 3, 6. Plus, for 1 half, 10 divided by 2, that's 5 times 1, 5. So therefore, we just add now 6 tenths plus 5 tenths. So copy the same denominator of 10 and add the numerator 6 plus 5. So we will have 3 and 6 plus 5, that will be 11 over 10. Notice that 11 over 10 is an improper fraction. So let's transform this into mixed number by dividing 11, the numerator, by 10 the denominator so 11 divided by 10 that's 1 1 times 10 is 10 subtract 11 minus 10 it's 1 so therefore we will have 3 plus 11 over 10 which is equivalent to 1 and 1 over 10 as mixed number so if we add 3 plus 1 and 1 over 10 let's just add the whole numbers 3 plus 1 it's 4 and then affix the fractional part, which is 1 over 10. So the final answer is 4 and 1 10. For number 3, we have 5 6 plus 1 third plus 2 ninths. So these three fractions are dissimilar. So let's find first their LCD. So list down the multiples of 6, 3, and 9. So for 6, we have 6, 12, 18, and so on. For 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, and so on. For 9, we have 9, 18, 27, and so on. So the first common multiple that appears is obviously 18. So therefore, the LCD will be 18. So transforming 
the three fractions into similar fractions having the new denominator, which is the LCD 18. So for 5, 6 first, so 18 divided by 6, that's 3, times 5, 15. For 1 third, 18 divided by 3, that's 6, times 1, it's 6. Then for 2 ninths, 18 divided by 9, that's 2, times 2, 4. So we can now add the numerators, 15 plus 6 plus 4, and then copy the same denominator of 18. So 15 plus 6 plus 4, that will be 25 over 18. So this is an improper fraction. You can also transform into mixed number. Divide the numerator 25 by the denominator 18. 25 divided by 18, that's 1. 1 times 18, 18. Subtract 25 minus 18, that's 7. So therefore, 25 over 18 is the same as 1 and 7 over 18. Okay, so now it's your turn. So try to solve this problem and just comment your answers.